Mr. Uh, the Honourable Chester Burrows. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that the Unit Titles Amendment Bill now be read a third time. The bill formally constituted Part 27 of the Statutes Amendment Bill, which the House has just considered. While the Government uh, Administration Select Committee considered the amendments to the Unit Titles Act 210 uh, were minor and technical, there were so many of them that it was more appropriate for them to be contained in a separate bill. And the Committee therefore resolved to divide the Statutes Amendment Bill so that Part 27 became a separate bill, known as the Unit Titles Amendment Bill, which the House is now uh, considering. The Unit Titles Act 210 has been in force since June 2011. Its uh, purpose is to allow bodies corporate which comprise all unit owners in a development to operate and manage unit title developments. The Act provides guidance to bodies corporate and unit owners to assist them in managing their property. In uh, 2011, Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment officials and industry stakeholders have identified several minor and technical issues which the Act, such as uh, with the Act, such as incorrect cross-references or terminology, and the Unit Titles Amendment Bill corrects these minor drafting errors. Although the proposed amendments are minor, they are important because they affect the day-to-day -day administration of property affairs by bodies corporate and unit owners. The following amendments are examples of how the Bill will clarify the original intent of Parliament when the Act was drafted. The Bill simplifies disclosure when buying a unit by allowing buyers to choose from a list of relevant information from the seller rather than receiving all material as is currently the case. This will help both parties to the transaction. It clarifies that a body corporate can seek to recover unpaid levies through the Tenancy Tribunal, enabling bodies corporate to recover unpaid levies quicker. And it clarifies the types of general orders the Tenancy Tribunal may make to resolve unit title disputes. This will assist with the resolution of more disputes. I wish to thank all stakeholders for their input into the amendments of this bill, and I also acknowledge and support the support of my colleague, uh, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith, Minister of Housing, on the bill, and I commend the bill to the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, Mr Speaker, I think some people will probably be puzzled.